Chevrolet, RJ Anderson, Doug Matag, you name it, they're here, Jim. And it's been a long time coming. Make sure you guys get on your feet. This is gonna be one of the biggest, baddest Pro 4 races of the weekend. We have never seen a field like this, and we don't know if we ever will again, but you wanna be on your feet, Cranon, because Cowboys getting ready to go down the line, and we're gonna go Pro 4 racing with about 15,000 horsepower in just a few seconds. Cowboy making his way down the line. He's checking on all the drivers, making sure they're strapped in tight. They've got those Impact Mastercraft harnesses snugged up. They've got those gear boxes in gear, and they are ready to rumble here. Brent, I don't even know. This is a star-studded cast of some of the best Pro 4 drivers of all time. I don't even know who to pick. All I have to say is I'm excited to see who comes out of turn number one in the lead. Who is going to get the whole shot? Cowboy gets a lasso. Oh, wow. Look like Doherty jumped the start. We're going to wait on that. Everybody jumping the start. I don't know what's going on here, but we are going racing. It is green flag time for Pro 4s at Cranon. 15 of them heading into Forest County, Pottawatomie, turn number one. Looks like Bryce Menzies will be there with the whole shot. B Money Menzies in the lead. It looks like CJ Greaves in the second spot. Boy, Bryce just takes off where he left off last year at Fall Cranon. That Red Bull entry well out in front already, and that's CJ Greaves. Remember at Bark River, that was a brand new Pro 4. A lot of bumping and banging. Look at uh, Scott Douglas getting in the back of Johnny Greaves. That's a rivalry that's a decade deep at least. All right, so right now it is Bryce Mins. He's being chased by CJ Greaves. Bryce Menzies in that number seven ride, just flying out front. Well, look at that. Johnny getting into the side there of Matag. Scott Douglas can collect as well. RJ Anderson gonna get around Matag. Man, Menzies backing it in. I just love that about Pro 4. All four wheels turning. 800 to 900 plus horsepower. Oh, oh. we got contact. That looked like Adler and Cheney. Yeah, that looked uh, like the number 91 there of Kyle Cheney getting looped around there. Looks like they're both going to get him fired up. Number 10 of Adler, you are correct. Right now, Bryce Menzies checking out on the field. Looking pretty. Remember, this isn't just for a win. This is for qualifying for tomorrow's World Championship race. So whoever start or wins here is going to have the pole position tomorrow. CJ Greaves, remember I said that's a brand new truck. Come out for Bark River. It's very, very quick. His father, Johnny Greaves, right behind him in that 22 Monster Energy back ride. They're trying to run down the Red Bull entry right now. Johnny and CJ Greaves, this, we've seen this time and time again here in the Midwest. Here comes Matag. Matag, that is a former Kyle and Duke chassis trying to work its way. You know that truck knows its way around Crandon. Matag looking to make a move there on Johnny Greaves. Nothing there, Johnny slamming the door. Boy, the track through Argon Turn is still a little bit slippery as you see the standing water. Everyone trying to straddle that water in the back section. And you gotta remember, CJ Greaves, Johnny Greaves, both running the same line. Trying to reel in that man on the body of your screen, Bryce Menzies, as they head back to Forest County, Pottawatomie, turn number one. So it's Menzies, it Greaves, Greaves, Matag, and Anderson, your top five. Scott Douglas sliding into the sixth spot. Great run by Douglas. But Menzies just on another level right now. He has that truck on rails out here at Crandon. Hitting his marks, he is tough to catch. He's definitely tough to catch right now, Bryce. He, he knows his way around here as well, and that truck is a very, very fast truck. Just the profile of it, so low to the ground. They came back here, did a lot of testing. He is bringing his A game. Wants to take another cup win. So cool of a shot, that excess fuel burning out of the bottom of CJ Greaves as we go back up front. 
a cool onboard shot. He's at about 10 and two on the straightaways on that steering wheel. Just trying to drive it into that fine line as watch him. He'll rotate it and back it in. Menzies getting a turn. You got CJ and Johnny Greaves with tag. RJ Anderson with a massive lead over the rest of the field. CJ Greaves heading back into Forest County bottom when he turned number one once again. There's RJ Anderson now in our screen. Very, very hard hits on that right side, that barn jump. It's deceiving, you have to hit that thing to realize how far you actually fly. Looks like CJ Greaves maybe narrowing the gap just a hair to Bryce Menzies, but Menzies with a massive lead. Rest of the field looking forward to that competition caution as Menzies just shredding this Crandon track. Shredding is a great word, man. He is just taking things to the next level and he knows what he's doing. It's so crazy to watch his arms move. Like the work he's doing inside that truck, he's making it look way too easy. So much finesse by Bryce Menzies out front. Now CJ and Johnny Greaves on the hunt. Doug Matag in that group as well. RJ Anderson trying to factor into this podium battle. But not, right now it's the Greaves entry, CJ and Johnny with a stranglehold on second and third. Yeah, Matag, wow, look at Matag. Oh, Whoa. that was scary. Matag almost lost it there on the barn jump. I mean, that could have been <laughs> catastrophic. That could have went so bad, Jim. That is what you have beadlocks for right there. <laughs> Johnny Greaves now starting to reel in CJ Greaves, his son. They know that mandatory competition caution is coming as CJ, two different lines and two different entries. I always said these two have two different driving styles. Like Johnny, he likes to huck it in. He don't care. He wants to try to make that truck as fast as possible. CJ, he's calm, cool, and collected all the time. He'll pick the perfect line every lap. Johnny trying desperately to get around CJ. It's gonna give him another shot at Bryce Menzies after the competition caution. But right now, the number seven of Bryce Menzies out front, just rotating that truck effortlessly, hitting his marks and just running away with his Pro 4 race. Bryce Menzies heading back towards turn number one, just wide open once again. That Red Bull entry showing up this weekend and showing that he's gonna be a major factor. Truck hooked up past the VIP suites, gonna head down into the gravel pit. Now CJ and Johnny Greaves come into our picture. Now we go on board with CJ Greaves. You watch as Bryce Menzies, he was more 10 and two, so is CJ off the jumps, and you'll see him go back to that shifter. Competition caution is out, so it is Menzies, CJ Greaves, Johnny Greaves, Doug Matag, and RJ Anderson, your top five. Scott Douglas, he is moving into uh, the sixth spot here. Great, great run by the number 27 of Scott Douglas. Andrew Carlson there in the seventh spot. And then look at that. The number three, Jamie Flannery up into eighth, Brent. Yeah, Flannery, he's just trying to pick his way through. Ross Hook in ninth. Then you have Kyle Cheney, and then the city homes of Travis Dinsmore ride, the Ford at F-150, trying to work his way, not having the best of luck last year. Came back this season, threw down some races. Now just trying to put a good program together, and just a great group of guys, the Dinsmore family. Bryce, glimpse into the cockpit. He's trying to stay loose in there. Look like he's stretching his arms a bit. Nice day at the office for Bryce Menzies so far in that number seven. 
Man, what is it going to take these Grease boys to chase down Bryce Menzies, Brent? I mean, Menzies built up a massive lead, and they're going to have one single shot at Bryce Menzies. Yeah, and you, you got to hope that Bryce gets caught sleeping on the restart, but any time that you are in that lead, you get to set that pace on that restart. Are you going to play with CJ's head, stay on the brakes a little longer, let it roll? There's so many different strategies that you can do on these restarts. And if you're CJ and Johnny Greaves, there is no laying back. It's go time because you watch as the laps kept counting off, Bryce just kept checking out. And CJ and Johnny both know that, so pay attention. It's Bryce Menzies, CJ Greaves, Johnny Greaves, Doug Matag, RJ Anderson, and Andrew Carlson. Green flag out, and Menzies sleeping a little bit. CJ Greaves all over the back of Menzies, just like you said. Menzies kind of fell asleep there. We'll see if CJ can capitalize on this. Watch where CJ Greaves goes in that gravel pit. He's gonna go opposite where Bryce goes, I guarantee you that. Well, look at three wide drifting through the corner. Menzies gonna come out in front. Matag diving in there, trying to get around Johnny Greaves. Man, that Red Bull ride is so fast. He's just backing it in 100 feet before the turn. CJ getting a little bit of a run there. And just like that, Bryce has that gap once again. That truck's so bad fast out here today. Oh, Bryce got up on the bike a little bit. Bryce Menzies, CJ Greaves, Johnny Greaves, Doug Matag, your top four. Watch as they go up towards the berm, turning the opposite way, rotating those trucks very nicely, trying not to scrub off any speed. CJ Greaves not too far back behind Ben. Bryce Menzies trying to keep trying to keep Menzies still in play, but that is easier said than done. As Menzies just oh, so some, fast. Something happened to Menzies. He went wide. Something broke on Menzies' truck. He's off the pace. Wow, Menzies, something let loose on that truck. We're gonna see if we can get a replay on that. But uh, man, tough break there for Bryce Menzies as CJ Greaves now in the lead. He come off that barn turn jump, Bryce did, and I don't know, wonder maybe he broke something on the right side suspension because he really got out of the gas. Well, we saw Matag earlier almost roll on that jump. It's been sending these trucks awful far and landing on that right side really hard. Maybe something happened to Menzies, let go, like you said, with all that inertia that happens as they land on that right side of the truck. And what a heartbreaker for Bryce Menzies, who was leading this thing in a dominating fashion. And right now it is C.J. Greaves, Johnny Greaves, Doug Matag, one, two, three. Yeah, C.J. Greaves, that new truck has been very, very good to him so far. At Bark River, he had a good run. Him and his father, Johnny, took a couple tumbles throughout the weekend, still managed to put it up on the box. Matag and R.J. Anderson now ready to do battle. This is not over yet. You know Johnny, he's babysitting his son. He knows where CJ likes to go. They always finish right neck and neck when they're this close in this beginning of the race. The second half, it's been crazy. We lost Bryce Menzies, but now we got a battle for the lead, Jim. And look at that, Johnny Greaves tucking to the inside, trying to get around CJ. Johnny almost over-rotating a bit there, side by side over the Polaris Razor jump. Door to door, fender to fender. Johnny Greaves trying to go to the inside of CJ, and here comes Doug Matag. Matag all the way to the bottom, taking a look at both of them. RJ Anderson now getting in the mix as well with two to go. On board well, look shot, at that, Matag. oh man, Matag slamming the door on Johnny. Wow, Matag aggressive there. That allows RJ Anderson now to get into, the, into play with Johnny Greaves. Matag just sticking his nose in there and saying, hey, I am here, Johnny. Yeah, he was definitely saying hello to Johnny Greaves. I don't know if it was too heavy a contact for John. He fell off the pace, but coming back towards Forest County, Pottawatomie, turn number one. It is CJ Greaves, Doug Matag, and it's not over yet. Yeah, RJ Anderson getting around Johnny Greaves, it looks like, but as you said, Matag on the hunt now for CJ Greaves. We're gonna have the white flag this next time by. 
Man, is there enough time for Doug Matag, Jim? He's been fast. I mean, I wouldn't call it, I'd just call it a racing incident when he did to Johnny. There was no heavy, heavy contact. He was door to door. Now you find that number 81 just chasing one of the best in the world. CJ Greaves in this last corner. Looks like Matag tucking down low, taking a look at things. Nothing there, they're gonna take the white flag. It is out, one to go for CJ Greaves. He's got Doug Matag on the hunt. We got a race on our hands, Grandin. Coming through Argon turn one final time. Is there enough time for Doug Matag? It's Matag driving it hard in Argon loop. It'll hurt him on exit. He just really needs to try just about anything right now. And remember, I always like looking towards that gravel pit because there's so many options. Attack, tucking it all the way down low, trying to find something, losing a little bit of momentum. CJ Greaves getting a little bit of breathing room as they head down here into Forest County Potawatomi, turn number one. CJ Greaves down through turn one in front of the grandstands. Get on your feet, Grant, and last lap of Pro 4. Doug Matag, time is running out. CJ Greaves, that red plate is for a reason. He won the championship last year. That 33 Monster Energy ride is out front just hanging it. Matag gonna have one more shot as we go into the gravel pit. Run an identical line to CJ. CJ slams the door. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. One corner to go. It's gonna take a big mistake by CJ Greaves from Matag to get in this. Matag, Matag diving all the way to the bottom. Nothing there. CJ Greaves gonna be victorious here at Granin. Matag will finish second behind C.J. Greaves, one heck of a run. Then it'll be R.J. Anderson, then Johnny Greaves, who is running up front as well. And then Andrew Carlson will round out your top five. And then Jamie Flannery in the sixth spot. A good run for Jamie. Great run for Jamie Flannery. And uh, you gotta, gotta say, Johnny Greaves, he is not gonna be a happy camper right now. Opened the door there just a bit, and it allowed uh, it allowed Doug Matag to sneak right in, and uh, you know it was, it was an aggressive move, and Matag knew he was going to have to do something like that to get around Greaves, and it ended up paying off. What a great run there, though, by C.J. Greaves, Bryce Menzies, man, heartbreaker for him. He led to the midway point, second half of the race came out, shot out of a cannon, and then he had that mechanical issue going into the barn corner, Brent, and uh, you know, I don't know what happened yet, but I'm sure they're gonna have that fixed, repaired, and ready to roll. Welcome back out here to the big house, and it looks like we've got uh, a trio of pro four podium finishers here getting ready to do some interviews as we throw it down to Tiffany Stone. Standing down here with our third place finisher in pro four, RJ Anderson, RJ. You were rocking a fake mullet yesterday, so I'm assuming that gave you a little more oomph for today, but obviously it was a great run for you. Walk us through for your third place win. It wasn't just yesterday. I taped that puppy on the back of my helmet and it was with me all uh, 10 laps out there. So, man, those 10 laps were pretty gnarly. That was a wet track at the beginning of that race. Pulled so many tear-offs. I put 30 on there, almost all gone. So pulled a ton of tear-offs. And uh, right towards the end there, after the yellow, we all four bunched up. Bryce had a problem. We were all running in a line. And then, uh, I don't know what happened over in Oregon. Johnny got there, so we all got split up a little at the end and was able to uh, bring her home for a third place finish, which is rad. Uh, came here in the spring. Didn't have such good luck, you know, had a couple problems, so pumped to start the weekend on the box. I think we learned a lot, um, a lot of setup stuff. Tomorrow's really important for us, so uh, just want to thank Rockstar Energy. The whole Walker Evans crew is out here supporting me, so thank those guys, BF Courage Tires, South Point. Man, uh, that was a good one. Pumped to be up here. Ukrainian fans are awesome and looking forward to tomorrow. Awesome. Well, I love that mullet. Good story. Hop up on number three. Talking to our second place finisher down here, Doug Matag. You want to step down real quick, Doug? So good to see you, Doug, back out here in the Midwest. Obviously, it was really cool to see you, Johnny, CJ, just chasing each other down. How's it feel to be back out here? Yeah, it feels good to be back out here with these boys. Uh, they run fast, and they know this track real well. It was a tough learning curve. Uh, I didn't get to come practice like a lot of people did, and, and we made it work. My team worked really hard on this truck. Uh, Pro Power actually let us come out to their to their facility and put our engine in on the way out here in Milwaukee, four hours away. So big shout out to them. I appreciate that. We wouldn't be here without them. And the rest of my team, mom, dad, Joe Clark, my girlfriend, friends for helping out, everybody, all my fans out here in Crandon, my buddies that I don't get to see that often that uh, support me. And, and these fans are insane. This is the 50th and I'm so excited and uh, I just can't wait to uh, get up on that top spot. I've never got a win here at Crandon, so I'm, I'm working my way up there. 
Well, you've done it here. Big congratulations. Hop up on number two. And the man of the hour, CJ Greaves, can I get you to hop down here? First of all, i got to say a big congratulations on taking the at Pro 4 overall win for the 2019 year and the top spot in the Pro 4 race today. Walk us through everything, and you know what I'm about to say. In one word, how are you feeling? Oh, man, it's awesome. Uh, I think words can't even describe it. But uh, it was an awesome race. Uh, me and Bryce were rubbing right from the whole shot, so I was like, hopefully we don't take each other out here and uh, we can race on. But he was flying in the beginning, and uh, I think he had a problem. And then after that, we knew uh, we had to win a championship today. Uh, we weren't about to take any chances going out by the walls or running real heavy in the cushion because it was just too close to the wall, real risky. The sun was really bad in your face. So um, tomorrow's going to be a whole new story. But uh, we did what we had to do for today, and uh, we'll re-rack, re regroup, and uh, come back stronger tomorrow. So I can't thank everyone from Toyota. They put a killer engine in these things. Monster Energy, Method Race Wheels, Fox Shocks. Um, everyone that helps us out, we appreciate it, and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow.